So in Final Cut Pro 10 here, I wanted to share some tips for working with audio and other connected clips. So we're gonna have a look at how we can make selections on connected audio and connected video clips. We're also gonna look at how we can quickly bring audio in from our audio libraries into Final Cut Pro 10 projects, as well as a couple of shortcuts for working with audio on your timeline. So the first thing I wanna look at is how we bring audio into a project, not directly down to the timeline, but into our events up here in the top left tab for this particular library. So if we jump into our audio libraries, we get a list of any effects or sound libraries that we've already have installed on our Mac. And so we can bring those into our projects. Now, what you don't wanna do all the time is bring those straight down onto the timeline. You wanna collect a few different ones and then bring them down to the timeline as you're editing your clips. So we'll have a look at how we do that. So if we jump into our effects and our theme music here, we can see a few different tracks that we can bring into to our library here. So I'm gonna click and hold on this track. And then in order to bring it into my library, I just drag to the left and you can see that I jump back to my library. So I'm gonna drop this into the audio and then I jump back to my audio sidebar where I can see my effects. So I can jump into a number of different effects here. So we can grab a few different effects and drop them into this audio folder. And we'll just grab a couple of random clips. So you can see just by clicking and holding on your audio, dragging up to the left, your library will reappear and then you can drag it into that project. So now when I go back to my libraries, I see those audio tracks that I've collected in this library here. And in here I can right click on them and assign audio roles. So we can have them as effects or in this case as a music track. Okay, and we can prepare them for those lanes that we'll be using on the Final Cut Pro timeline in our edits. So now let's just bring down this track to our timeline here. And I wanna show you a couple of ways in which we can quickly edit our sound levels or mute our sound on the timeline here. Now, by default in Final Cut Pro 10, if we are hovering over a clip in our timeline or we're playing through a clip, when we press I or O, it's gonna mark in and out points on our main storyline here. So you can see we've got in and out points marked on our main storyline. If we come up to our view options and turn on this clip skimming option, then what this allows us to do is to skim over a connected clip. It can be an audio clip or a video clip, and I can mark an in point and an out point, and it's actually gonna select the in and out point on that audio. Now there's a few things I can do here. Obviously, if I drag down, I'm gonna dip the audio at that particular point in time. If I move along, I can mark another in and out point. Now we can dip audio by dragging it down, or if you hold down control and tap the minus key, you can dip your audio levels. So I'm just holding down control and tapping the minus key and it's dipping those audio levels. If I hold down control and tap plus, then I can bring those audio levels back up. Now this gives us a nice level of control in the timeline and we can work really quickly to manage our audio levels in this way. So if I remove the selection by doing Alt X, and then come back to the beginning of my timeline and I've got my clip skimming turned on. So now I'm just gonna leave my mouse placed over the top of that playful audio track that I've got. And now if I jump back to my J, K and L keys, I can now play through this clip, mark an in point, play through, mark an out point. I have to pause it to mark an out point. And then I can do control plus or minus to bring those audio levels up and down. So if I'm playing through a track here, can zoom through, we'll come past these other points we added, press I, come forward, press O, control and minus, and now I'm dipping that range of audio um, with the shortcuts on the keyboard. So the important steps here are to keep your mouse hovering over the audio clip that you wanna edit, and then also to have under the view menu the clip skimming turned on. So that's the first thing. The other thing we can do in Final Cut Pro is if we play through, pause, mark an in point, play through, mark an out point. And now if I press the V key or the backspace key, I'm gonna mute that sound. So if I play through again now, I press backspace the first time, I'm gonna mark an in point and we have to pause it to mark the in point. I'm gonna mark an out point here, and then I'm gonna press the V key, and that's gonna mute that area of the clip. So it's not removing it. So this is a nice function for muting the, the clip in the timeline. So if I play forwards again here now, mark another in point, 
I'll mark another out point. I can tap V and it's gonna mute that area of the clip. Now, once I've muted that area of the clip, if I wanna bring it back, so we'll come back here. So I'm just tapping J to shut off backwards quickly. I'm gonna mark an in point just before where I muted it before, come ahead and now to unmute that, I'm gonna mark an out point and tap V again twice and it will bring that clip back. So if I play forward, mark an in point, play forward, mark an out point, press V twice and it will bring that area of the clip back. So it mutes it a bigger area and then brings that area back. So you can see I've got this nice level of control of holding down control, tapping the plus or minus key to drop our levels down or bring them up in a particular point in time. And then to play forwards and mute or unmute areas of the clip by tapping the V key or the backspace key. Now, unfortunately, once we've added keyframes on our timeline here, then the only way to move things up and down is to drag those up and down. Okay, so there's a few quick tips for working with audio on a connected clip. I hope that's useful and I hope to see you on the next tutorial.